Hi everyone, it's Ashley, and this is um, March Munchies recipe number two. Um, it's going to be a balsamic uh, chicken and roasted vegetables. It's like a one pan meal. Um, so it's almost noon, and I'm going to uh, start marinating my chicken. Uh, you only have to marinate it maybe up to a half hour, um, but the longer uh, is better. So I have some boneless chicken thighs. I'm going to trim these of the fat, put them in a plastic baggie with one third of a cup balsamic vinegar and one third of a cup of uh, Italian dressing. Light is fine, regular is fine, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put those in, put them in the fridge, and then I will see you later when I uh, start getting the vegetables ready. Okay, now it's time for the vegetables. I've got <clears throat> an onion. I've got some carrots. I'm going to slice these in half because they take a while. I'm going to have some broccoli and some mushrooms. Um, usually I really like to have some um, these tomatoes, but um, I don't have any. So it's kind of a shame, but um, I'm going to chop all those up into um, relatively the same size pieces. Um, I'm going to be adding, um, oops, this. Um, I'm going to dredge them in a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to be adding in some minced garlic. And then I'm going to sprinkle on this Mediterranean spiced sea salt. It has uh, obviously sea salt, it's got spices, literally says spices, including um, oregano and basil, so it's got lemon peel and red onion, red, sorry, red bell pepper and red pepper and natural flavor. Uh, this is really nice. Um, and I'll show you in a minute. So I've got all of the vegetables all mixed up with the seasoning and the oil. Uh, I'm just going to dump it onto a sheet pan. I've lined this with non-stick foil. Uh, if you don't have non-stick foil, I would suggest spraying um, your pan or your foil um, with some cooking spray. I have the oven set to 400. <laughs> we are. <n> <laughs> I realize you can see the time. Uh, my son gets home at four, sorry, he gets home at five o'clock off the bus. It's very late. And uh, I know that he's starving when he gets home. So I want to make sure um, that dinner is ready right when he gets home. So uh, that's why <laughs> I'm cooking dinner before four o'clock. Um, I'm going to put these vegetables in um, for about 15 minutes before I add the chicken. Um, because these are definitely going to take longer, especially the carrots. The carrots will probably still have a little bit of a bite to them when um, all is said and done. Um, but So I'm going to put these in for about 15 minutes, uh, and then I'll come back and show you um, the chicken and all that. Okay, so this is how they currently look. I thought I had hit pause that second, but never mind. <clears throat> so now I'm going to move all of these over. They smell awesome, by the way. Still giving them some space. And then I'm going to um, use this space for my chicken. Um, since I have relatively small chicken thighs, I'm only going to put them in for about 10 minutes, maybe 15, uh, depending on the doneness uh, when I see them. Um, sorry, I thought that was going to burn it. I'm a good cook, I swear. This is just ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to put them on there, and I will show you before I put them back in the oven. Okay, so here they are. I'm going to put them in the oven, and then uh, they should be done. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've taken it out of the oven. I'm not gonna lie, it was in there for a little bit extra. I got a little distracted playing outside with the little one. So, um, 
I'm not exactly sure exactly, exactly, exactly how much it, <laughs> it was in the oven for. But I'll plate it up and I will show you um, what's for dinner. Okay, so this is it. This is obviously not my portion. It's my husband's. Uh, I gave him two of the thighs, a bunch of the vegetables, and they are having... It looks ridiculously like yellow in in the camera, but it's um, the cheesy mashed potatoes. Uh, I will obviously have a smaller portion, um, but I don't usually eat <laughs> at 5 o'clock. So um, I've set this aside for my husband, and I will make a plate and eat it later. Um, and <laughs> my boys are about to start eating. So um, let me just say, if I have forgotten anything, let me know uh, if you have any questions, because honestly, I could have forgotten something super important and not even know it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it this week, and I'll see you next week.